friends welcome back to llama mama kayla's yarn tube i hope you're all doing great um i've been crafting last night and so this what i need to do today <laughs> is clean up all this mess that i created you can see um i just did all kinds of weird stuff and had a good time doing it <laughs> So I've got to clean up this mess. So that's what I'm going to work on first today before I crochet. I need to get this table cleaned off. So that's my goal. But I hope you're all having a great day. What are you up to today? What is your whip of the day? Whether it's crocheting or cleaning a project, cleaning an area, or, you know, whatever it is you're doing. Um, if you're in South of the United States I hope you don't have to do something outside because it is so hot out there so I'm just staying in chilling cleaning up my mess and I've got and then I'm gonna crochet for a little bit I've got to you know work on another project to try to get things finished so I'll be back and show you what I'm working on today Okay, friends, I'm back. I got my workspace cleared off, but I thought I would just show you my little creations of my pumpkin head dolls that I made. Uh, my son Dakota did help me complete this project, and it's just a silly little project that I did with some thrift store dolls and Dollar Tree dolls. But this is Gordon, because, you know, a pumpkin is a gourd, and so I made some pumpkin head dolls here that I plan to do some fall photos with there's um, Gordon this is Jackie you can see she's very stylish and then these are some Dollar Tree dolls that I just tore the head off and um, you know painted them up made them pretty interesting funny Here's um, one here that just cracks me up. <laughs> anyway, I was just having fun doing weird stuff. I, I always text my kids weird things. Like, I just text them texts all the time that don't even make sense just because I like to mess with them. And so the other day, I had texted them that it was Weird Stuff Saturday. And then the next day, I texted and said it was, um, it's now Weird Stuff Sunday. And then on Monday, I texted them and said, now it's just turned into Weird Stuff September. So, anyway. <laughs> that is my little creations that I have done. And I just thought I would share those with y'all real quick. Today for Whip Wednesday, I thought I would work on this ripple blanket for just a little while. Um, trying to get a few rows in on it. It's a blanket I've been working on for a little while that, um, you know, I it wasn't in a rush to get done because it's hot. <laughs> very, very hot. But anyway, I don't know the measurements, but this is what I've got done on it so far. So it's getting there. I'm probably about halfway through. Not really sure. Um, I'll know it's done when it's done. And I am using uh, a Premier Sweet Roll Vivid. And I'm probably putting about six or seven of those into this. Um, that's my plan. We'll see how it goes. I um, don't know where. Wait a minute. What's going on here? that one's on the bottom okay so anyway that's what I'm doing working on this little ripple blanket some here um, now about those dolls that I showed you those pumpkin head dolls those are just for fun some fall photos I like unusual one-of-a-kind stuff that's my jam one-of-a-kind anything and so uh, let me make sure I got three three or two yeah two two and two 
Okay, so anyway, I like weird, unusual, one-of-a-kind type stuff, and so I wanted something to do some fall photos with. For Instagram, I am on Instagram. I think the link will be in the description box here. And, um, I post, you know, weird stuff. <laughs> I post my dolls and just whatever over there. Not just crochet stuff. I crochet... I post um, lots of other stuff, too. Hold on. Let me make sure I'm doing this right. Uh, skip one. Do, skip one. Okay. And so, um, anyway, I had sent those texts to my kids. I always send them, like, weird stuff that they have to try to figure out what it means. <laughs> what's going on. I'm sure they discuss it with each other. So, anyway, Monday, I I had said that I didn't have any plans for Monday, that Big Daddy was going to work, and I was just going to crochet, and, you know, whatever. Well, those changed, those plans changed real quick before I even knew it. Um, my, um, Zeke's mom, the little guy that comes down and helps me, his mom, she texts and asked, did I have plans for Labor Day, and I told her no. Big Daddy was going to work, and so she said her and the two youngest children were going to come down to visit. And I was like, okay, that's great. And then, um, before the evening was over with, then Big Daddy, um, said both the boys are coming over, so he wasn't going to go in and work. And so, <laughs> yeah, um... So, my neighbor Erica and the two youngest kids, which are, um, 10 and 7, they came down, and I'm helping them do some artwork to put in the fair, and so, um, I thought there is a slot for a loom knitted hat in their category, in their age group, and so I... Got my Addy machine out, and the we needed two hats. Now, they cranked it all the way out. They picked up all the stitches. They did everything themselves, except I loaded the yarn onto it. Just because I wanted to make sure it didn't skip a... Because you have to weave in and out. And I wanted to make sure it was that part was done correctly, or the whole hat would not work. But um, they cranked it cranked that sucker out they went around and picked up all the stitches to um, cinch out the hat and then we sewed the ends together and made them hats and so their mom was going to help them put a pom pom make a pom pom to put on top of their hats so anyway they'll have hats to enter and the um the other two that thir that's 13 zeke and evie they may end up coming down to make a hat, too. They'll be coming down to make art, do art, more artwork. So I will ask them if they want to, um, you know, make hats, too. It wouldn't take no time for them, too, to make up a hat to put in the fair. And, um, yeah, so I've just been working on artwork with them and enjoying every minute of it. So anyway, my, our boys ended up coming out. I'm sure they discussed my text together and then decided they better come out here and see what was going on. <laughs> it's one way to get them out here, huh? And um, we they stayed and we had a really good time just visiting and enjoying, catching up, all that kind of stuff. So that was fun. Love them. Love those boys. Love that they come and see their mom and dad. I think I gotta do six of these. <laughs> I can't count and talk at the same time, obviously. And then I messed up. Anyway. So, yeah, my plans did change for Monday and actually uh, i mean yeah on monday and then by tuesday i tried to do a video so i really tried to get in here and get a video done 
but I was so wore out from Monday. I mean, anytime I do anything, I have to pay the next day, and I, you know, sometimes forget that. <laughs> And um, I just was not able to get in here and get a video done. I ended up just going and taking a nap. So, um, yeah, so here I am. It's Wednesday, Whip Wednesday, and I pulled this out to work on it. I need to show you guys um, some things that I have finished. So those will be coming up in a video, and I think I'm going to be going through my um, amigurumi eyes and organizing those for a video, and also I want to do uh, a project on um, a knitting machine. And Big Daddy's wanting to make a hat on the knitting machine, so... Yeah, I do have some video ideas. I just, you know, got to get my body to coordinate with me. So that's what I'm, I'm doing. Three, four, five. Okay. But I'm glad you guys stopped by to visit today and to say hello. Um... I know a, a lot of people were already telling Big Daddy happy birthday, and that that's fine, that's fine. He can celebrate it all month, <laughs> but it's really not until the 14th. But um, he was like, why are people telling me happy birthday all of a sudden? I said, well, it's your birthday month. So, um, yeah, I'm still trying to decide what I am going to do for him for his birthday just to make it, you know, a little something special for him. Um, so I'm trying to think of something. Someone did suggest, um, like, going to the gun range or shooting range or whatever. That is the perfect idea, except he and a friend of work go do that together about once a month so he already does it but yeah that would be the perfect thing for him but anyway so I'm still trying to decide what to do for him for his birthday I want to do something for him let's see uh, one two three four and, um, I'm waiting on it to cool off. It's a, it's a hundred degrees or 101 or something like that today. So we had a couple of days of cooler weather where it actually, you know, was a little bit decent. <laughs> Didn't feel like, you know, we was supposed to burn up any minute, but then it went skyrocketing back up so one two three four five and six so we are hot 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 today and um i i need to run some errands i need to go to the hospital and pick up my heparin still i just hate to get out when it's so hot the worst part about it and i do have a um handicap card but those spaces are already you know they're they're taken <laughs> if so the worst part, part about it is i'd have to park like way out in the parking lot walk forever in the heat and be half dead by the time i even made it to the doors <laughs> so that's the worst part about it So, are you guys experiencing fall weather yet? Um, and, and if you're not in the United States, what kind of weather are you having? 
I know like in Australia and stuff, you're probably ending your winter. But tell me about your weather. It's always interesting to know, like we're over here dying of heat strokes and other people are, you know, in the middle of winter. <laughs> we need to learn to travel in the summer. Wish, wish that was an option to head north to be cooler for the summer. But that is not an option for us, so. Not happening. One, two, three, four. The cats are running around here crazy. And actually, I had a little bitty doll, probably about this tall, that I also made into a pumpkin baby. They stole it. I cannot find that doll. They must have put it like under a bed or something because I have looked everywhere for that. I don't know where they could have put it. This They didn't take it to their usual spots. But when my little friend Zeke comes down, I will get him to look for it. He'll probably be the one to find it. But Sassy has been just racing through the house, running, lots of energy. So it is no telling where she put it or what she did. Come here, sissy. Come here, sissy girl. Come on. No telling what they have done with these. And I'm blaming it on Sassy because she's the one that is always doing something cray-cray. <laughs> Love that girl, but oh my gosh, she's wild, to say the least. Y'all can tell I'm having a hard time counting and talking. <laughs> Here comes Sissy. Here's Sissy girl. What's up, Sissy? Come here. Come on. She's content just sitting there watching me. Anyway, guys, yeah, I didn't really have anything of importance to say. I just wanted to say that, um... I've missed you guys. I'm trying to get, get it back together. Um, I think the heat has just taken a toll on me, for real. And it's all I can do to just do anything. And, you know, part of it's chronic illness. Part of it's just the heat, I think. Um... And then plus, you know, whenever I do something, um, I, you know, pay the next couple of days with pain and aches. And, I mean, y'all know how it is. Yeah, I know lots of y'all are the same boat I'm in. And that's just what we have to deal with. But, um... I do have I do have videos in mind to do for you guys. I um just got to do them. <laughs> just got to have the energy to do them. But I do miss you guys when I don't get to do a video. I miss you guys so much. I miss talking to y'all and getting new comments and stuff to read through. But anyway, guys, I'm going to go because I'm having trouble counting. <laughs> I'm having so much trouble counting here. So I'm going to go and let you get on with your day. And I'm going to get on with my day, work on this blanket some, try to get, um, try to get some rows in. 
because I need to do that and I need to pull out my boxes of crochet stuff and figure out what I'm gonna put in the fair so that might be a video also to see what I can come up with to put in the fair that'd be fun all right guys well i'm gonna go and i hope you all have a wonderful day don't forget to tell me what you have going on in your life in the description in the um comments below and i will see you all in the next video bye friends